Hey guys, welcome back. Okay, uh, we just hit 80%, so as is our normal procedure, we'll just quickly go through the thing. Um, we've got a lot to do today, so I want to do this fairly quick if we can. We've completed 53 missions out of 69. That puts us just a little bit behind where we should be, uh, which is kind of where I like to be. I think the where I want to... Uh, let's see, I think 80% uh, would actually be about 55 or 56, something like that. Um, so we're a little bit behind on there. That's that's about right. Um, we're at 49 on hobbies and pastimes, uh, 47 on strangers and freaks, which is a little just slightly ahead of where we should be on those. We've completed all the random events, and we finished 25 of the 30 miscellaneous events. Um, and if you look at the map, you can see uh, we've basically finished everything in here. We're just about done with the spaceship parts. Um, the spaceship parts we have left are stacked right along this road. They're all right through here. There's all five of them. Uh, so we'll be getting those shortly. So we're going to be going heavy on the missions. So being this close to the end of the game, I went ahead and planned out exactly what I wanted to do for each episode. Um, so there is a plan in place. I'm not, I'm not going to worry too much anymore about uh, where we are for each particular thing. Um, I'm just going to follow the plan until the end of the end of the game from, from this point out. Okay, these actually, these last three right here, you can't do until after you've finished all the missions. So these will be the last three things we do. Mrs. Phillips, Damaged Goods, and the last one. All right. So anyway, uh, that's where we're, things are at right at the moment. Um, so let's go ahead and get back into the game. Hey, guys. Okay. Um, before I forget, let's just quickly go back over what we did in the last episode and what I did off camera. Um, I did bury the hatchet. Well, we did two missions last time. We did construction assassination, but we got the no-fly zone right on camera, so nothing to do really there off camera. Um, bury the hatchet. Uh, we did get headshots on camera last time. Uh, pretty self-explanatory. And then we had, we had time and accuracy to get also self-explanatory. The time limit on that one is kind of brutal. When you replay the mission, you're actually, uh, I think, locked into Trevor to take him over. We, we took Michael over. Um, I think Trevor's actually a little bit faster to, to get going. Uh, but again, skip all the cutscenes. Uh, you got to really rush through that um, attack at the, at the cemetery. Uh, go ahead and spam Michael's special ability frequently in that one. And also, uh, towards the end, when, when that train comes, you don't actually have to deal with those guys. You can just run the car from there. Um, it'll save you some time. Uh, for that matter, you don't have to kill all the guys that, that show up. Um, you got to kill enough so that you don't get killed uh, as you're heading for the car. But if you leave one or two behind you, it's it's not that big of a deal. Uh, you'll still uh, complete the mission. You just got to reach your car, basically. So that's it. I don't think we did any strangers and freaks last time. Uh, no, it's been a while since we've done any strangers and freaks, actually. So anyway. Uh, yeah, like I said, we've got quite a bit to do, so we should get on it. Um, so let's check the map. We're going to go down and do this mission right here. So let's head out. So I hope you guys are doing well. I'm doing fine. Um, so as I mentioned in the intro, I have planned out all the remaining episodes of this uh, series, which turns out to be 16 more episodes. Um, now that's not set in stone, it may be that um, I don't get quite as far as I expect to, or actually get further than I expect to in any particular episode, so, you know, we'll just kind of play it by ear. I tried to, to make it such that I wrote down as many things as I could figure out that I thought we might be able to do in an hour. Um, but, you know, we'll see. We'll just see how it goes. I'm not, just because I planned it out doesn't necessarily mean we have to actually follow that plan exactly to the letter. So, um, you know, if I need to pad it out a little more, we'll, we'll do an extra thing. If, if I don't get finished with an entire episode, then we'll do stop early. It's just, you know... But anyway, the, uh, the current plan is to get done in 16 more episodes, including this one. So 
So we're gonna go start off with a mission. Um, only one mission this time, guys. Uh, again, unless something changes. Oh, that must be a van. So we've done all the random events. Alright, here we go. Good, Franklin. What's cracking? Hey, I jacked the last ride on that list. You ready to go? Shit, I'm ready to get paid, nigga. Crazy man's got the other ones. Come meet me by Glass Heroes and Strawberry so we can do the damn thing. I'm on my way. Alright. Oops. No, this is not Saints Row. <laughs> Stop hitting the wrong button to go back to Garo. Alright. Uh, drive over here. Oh, that must be the car. Let's get that shit cracking, nigga! He waiting at the garage. All right, here we go. The boost, homie. How did it go? Any problem? You know me, fool. Yeah, I do know you, fool. So what you think? Smooth as silk. I'm thinking where the blood stains and the bullet holes and shit. Man, fuck. That <laughs> amateur shit behind me, I'm a professional now, like you and them old dudes. So tell me what happened. I saw the ride. I took the ride. No drama. No security. No one saying, who the fuck is this gangly motherfucker doing in my car? Nothing. That's worrying, man. That's some shady ass shit. Man, shit. <laughs> Be careful. Line it up on the truck. The final piece of the puzzle. That's teamwork, motherfuckers. Boss man's happy. Then we'll get moving. Man, this old bust ass nigga ain't no boss. Enough, nigga. Get your ass in the truck. Let's go. All right. Let's get the truck. Bulletto Bay, Sonora Freeway. Hey, it's uh cozy in here. Scooch up, homie. Yeah. <laughs> Scooch over here. Scooching in that crazy dude? Oh, hell no, that nigga stank. Get over here. I don't bite. That ain't what I heard. All cannibalistic and shit. Frank, what you been telling him? I say what I see, homie. You dig on man meat. Ah, uh, rumor and hearsay. We got a long way to go. I'd get comfortable. All right, nigga, but don't try nothing. How far is it? In this thing? Yeah, about four hours. Shit. It's your operation, Slick. Shit, if you all right driving, I'm gonna catch up on some sleep. Go for it. It's all right being the boss. Meant to be running things, but this fool's sleep. Yeah, I'll be asleep when your ass stop talking, nigga. <laughs> some boss. <laughs> okay. So one of the gold requirements is to deliver the car without any damage. Hey, man, what that other dude? The dude that creeped on that dude. Michael, this creeping days are done. Well, what you mean? He stopped creeping? No more creeping for him. He, like, retired? From, from creeping. From everything. That's funny, because, like, the boy Frank didn't mention shit about that. And as a matter of fact, I don't even know the dude. But considering the mutual acquaintances we got, I would have liked an invite to the retirement party. There weren't no party. No party? I used the term retirement euphemistically. Homie, for a dude that kills dudes and eats dudes and fuck dudes, you talk fruit. It's unconfirmed. <laughs> What's unconfirmed? The fact that you talk stupid or the fact that you do some messed up shit? Or where the other dude's at? Like, maybe he's dead. The last one. Oh shit, man. Fuck. Do Frank know about this? I don't know if Franklin knows, but let's just let him sleep. Shit. Yeah, it's a bummer. But you know, he wasn't the good guy he made out. That dude was a killer, a thief, a liar, and irritable as shit. Yeah, a liar. Above all else, a fucking liar. 
Homie, you sound like some bitch he ain't called. Like, oh, uh, he lied to me. <laughs> I am some bitch he didn't call for ten years. <laughs> fuck, man, he fucked you. The fucker got fucked. Damn. He fucked the fucker himself. Shut up. Man, the first time's always special. I hope he was gentle with you. Enough of that. <laughs> and enough about me fucking. I don't do that. As a rule. Maybe when I got to LS, I was I was a little overwhelmed by the place. I got a little out of control. But that ain't who I am for the most part. But the Michael fucked you. Yeah. The Michael fucked me. And the Michael fucked Brad. And the Michael ran off with the FIB. Brad? Who? Who the fuck is Brad? Brad is our boy back from the day. And Michael killed him? Michael got him killed. He died when Michael faked his death. I thought Michael died and Brad was in the pen, when actually Brad was in the ground and Michael was in hiding. And now Michael's dead and it's all okay? Michael's current condition is unconfirmed. I said that. But if he was dead, you'd be cool because of this Brad dude who died whenever. <laughs> yes. Man, I thought you and Michael were tight. <laughs> so did I. Okay, that makes a lot of fucking sense. Oh, that's a funny conversation. It's a lonely yeah. old road, ain't it? Lonely? Hey, I couldn't say. I mean, not really. A road's a road. It ain't got abandonment issues. Truckers <laughs> on the black top. <laughs> yeah, okay, I don't need issues. to make do. I need to make snaps on these rocks. Sure. Yeah, the time will come. It's what happens before we get paid is what? Franklin's asleep. It's just me and you. What? What you trying to say? You want me to jack you off or something? Jesus, no. God, no. Of course not. Unless... Man, you's a sick fiend. Just fiending for some friendship. Friendship? Right, whatever, man. It's just... Truckers are a symbol of this country. A part of its mythology, like cowboys, gangsters, hobos, gangbangers. Truckers are about the unsexiest myth I ever heard. Apart from hobos. Well, uh, maybe tied with hobos. <laughs> Freedom. Loners in the night. You know what truckers do? Cut up women and get other dudes to jack them off. Come to think about it, aside from not lugging freight around the country, you got about all the necessary prerequisites for a fine career in Harlem. No shame in that. If you don't want to get paid or enjoy human contact. Money's bullshit. So is friendship. All right, all right, all right. I see you still touching. That's funny. doing over Ah, uh, dude getting paid to sleep. Don't even worry about him. Ah, uh, sleep of innocence. So he like in charge on this one? You work for him? He's a kind of figurehead. A puppet, if you like. With Devin Weston's hand up his ass. Right up to the elbow. That dude, real safe. Ooh, he's repulsive. But, well, once he's paid us, he can be whatever we want him to be. What you want him to be? I want him to be someone who understands that all the money in the world can't save him from a nasty guy who thinks he's an asshole. Now that's something I want to see. So, uh, that's tell I'm me, man, how y'all end up meeting? Michael introduced us. Me and Frank didn't exactly travel in similar circles. Nah, I mean the creeper. Michael? Ha! <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, you know. Sorry, I don't want to reminisce. The wounds ain't healed. You such a delicate little bitch, ain't you? Where your pussy at? What you got in there? Screw you! That's good. Let it out, homie. Go on, let it out. <laughs> Damn. The turd was probably playing me from the start. Right, yeah. Probably. How you doing? Where? When? All right. All right! Fuck! I was running a small air freight outfit in North Yankton. Tiny operation. One beagle I could borrow when I needed it. We were kids. Kids were playing. So, this guy I know says there's this other guy who needs some hot cargo moved across the border. Oh shit, what's happening? Wake up, you dozy motherfucker. One time was on a ride. What you gonna do, oh fearless leader? All right, shit. I'll handle this. If you keep driving, I'll use the JB700 to get rid of it. Um, what are we doing, Frank? Devin's lawyer said there'd be some new hardware on board. Hey, take this headset. Oh, jeez. Okay. Franklin's on the side of the truck. They must have waited till we was out of town. Yeah, it looks like it, don't it? 
Come on, Frank. Take time, buddy. One time all over this shit. Shit. What you doing, buddy? Come on. Wasn't wasn't here before. Man, you brought the cops right to us, dog. Maybe you should yeah. <laughs> Now get on the shit. Man, you better deal with the police. There you go. Have some, have some spikes. Get off of me. Fools. Alright, that's enough. We do it? I think we're good. Coming up to GO8. Man, the cops was all over us. They slowed us down soon. That's not surprising. The insurance companies have been pressurizing them to find you since the studio break in. You knew there'd be heat? Man, you could have told us. Don't get emotional. We're waiting at Procopio Truck Stop. Be here soon. All right, we're good. The lawyer ticks up at the Procopio Truck Stop. Procopio it is. All right, we'll just follow that. So, um,. Yeah, one of the gold requirements is just to, uh, to go to the car with no damage. So I don't think we've taken any damage. We shouldn't have. Um, another one is to, to take the cops out with spikes, which we did. So we should be good on that front. Um, I forget if there's a time limit or not. Probably there is. I'm gonna speak to the legal counsel woman. Get us paid. Yeah, I heard about that CEO pay shit. Just make sure it's fair salary for the workforce, motherfucker. Yeah, what he said. You taking care of. Head back to town. All right, so talk to Molly. Hey, Molly. Hello, Franklin. Yeah, where Devin at? Somewhere meditating or ripping somebody off? 
In light of the drama your efforts caused, we felt it was not perhaps the best idea for you two to be seen together for a while. Where's the money? Mr. Weston is one of the most brilliant investors the world has ever known. He's obviously a maverick, but he's also rigorous in his research. Yeah, he may be brilliant. Look, let me be the first to tell you. He ain't gonna fall in love with your ass. Now, where the fuck is my money? The best thing that could have happened to you in this situation has happened. He is going to hold your money, invest it in his Alpha Fund, and make the funds available to you at a time as the transfer will not induce any undue attention. Which is a polite way of saying I'm getting robbed? Are you fucking kidding me? That is a short-sighted and frankly immature way of seeing things, Mr. Clinton. Let's go. I boost cars and pop motherfuckers. Maturity is not really my fucking thing. Uh, we seriously did not get paid for that. Alright, um... Yeah. So there's a mission time and not a scratch, but we did get Shredder, which is the... the um, taking the police out. Um... Okay, guys. Oops. before we talk to Lester. Oh, we're hella far away from where I want to be. Figures. Jeez. Uh, Alright guys, I'm gonna drive down to here um, and I'll cut this out as soon as we uh, finish this phone call with Lester. It's gonna take a while to get down there, so... Let's go. Franklin! What's happening, Lester? Hey, look, you seen Michael? Man, the contact he set me up with is holding out on the payment, dawg. Huh. Uh, let's see. His phone is offline. His credit cards aren't active. This is aberrant behavior. Hmm, the last usage is for a flight to North Yankton. There, there was a signal from his cell back in Los Santos, but now nothing. Damn. Is he in the city, dawg? Shit, he could be in trouble, huh? I don't know, but it's worth speaking to Trevor. Most likely he was with him in the Midwest. I'll get him to come see you. Shit, all right, homie. Look, send him to my aunt's crib, all right? Okay, what the hell? Trucks. <laughs> all right, guys. Uh, so I'll see you when we get down to the helipad. Okay, guys. So grab yourself a chopper. I'm gonna take the the buzzer. This is a frogger. Um, hang on. I think we got a, a buzzer in here. Let's see. Yeah. Yes. Confirmed. Yes. Please. Well, you gotta actually put it there. <laughs> Come on, spawn in my helicopter. So I'm gonna check the buzzard because it's just small. We need a small chopper for this next thing we're gonna go do. Gang. So where we're gonna go is we're gonna go pick up the last five uh, of the spaceship parts. So first one is here, and this is probably the, one of the more difficult ones to get in the entire game. And you do need a oops, you do need a helicopter for it. One way or the other. I mean, yeah. I've seen people do it without a helicopter, but it involves, you know, getting a truck, and it's it's a pain. I mean, no matter how you do this, it's a pain. That's the bottom line. But uh, I think that using a helicopter is the easiest way to do it. So let's head up there.
it's not gonna help if it's raining. So that can stop. So this is gonna take some precision flying on our part. Really, it's a good idea to save the game, um, so we'll do that. Let's see, is that the base? That might be the base. We don't want to go over the base. Let's make sure we don't hit that base. Yeah, that's what that is. Let's just go around the base. <laughs> we don't want to get in trouble with the base. Let's see, I guess we'll go around this way. Going. So we're going to the bridge. It's just up here. So let's take the chopper down. Let's just park it on the bridge for a minute. To save the game. Just in case something goes wrong, which it could very well do. Alright, quick save. Alright do this. So the spaceship part is right below us. Oops. Don't hit my... Uh, boy, you gotta stop trying to use the, the wrong controls. Okay. Um, it's on one of these things. Alright, put the chopper around so I can see what I'm doing. Thank you. I thought it was on this one. Oh, oh, there it is. Yep, I see it. Alright. I'm getting to it. It's a tricky thing. There you go, just like that. <laughs> and there you go. Spaceship part number 46. Now let's get off of here. Let's eat as quickly as we can. There you go. See, that was not hard. Alright. We're heading for... Um, See, we're gonna head for this little spot of land like right here. Right about here is where the next one is. Well, it sure would be nice if it would stop raining. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
<laughs> Somewhere on this little island. Probably towards the end. There it is. Here's our part. 47. Tap into it. Next one is going to be um, right about here-ish, I guess. Um, somewhere right in here, I think. Let's see what my clue is. Hmm, it says something about forest pipe. Alright, let's go check it out. Pretty nice getting around in this helicopter. Makes it fast. Don't have to take the roads. One in the morning. It's a little hard to see. Um, let's see right this way. Let's guys see a forest part. Yeah, maybe. Is that what that is? Let's see if we can figure out some place to land. it. There you go. Level 48. Let's figure out where we parked. Two more. We are done with this collection. I love how as soon as I get in a helicopter it starts pouring rain. Let's make it as difficult as possible. Okay, the next one, guys, is going to be right about here, somewhere. Let's see, my clue for this one is fire training building. Alright, some sort of building. It's not too far away, at least. Seems like it ought to be right on this side of the road, right about here. From the looks of it, I don't see any fire train building over here. Oh, maybe that's what this is. Yep, I could hear something. Alright, let's go look around. Hmm. 
Hmm. I need to get in there. How do I do that? There we go. I can hear it. Let's get upstairs. Are you fool? There it is. Give me that. All right, forty nine. One more. Alright gang, one more. Let's see where we're going is uh looks like right about here. Come on, think oh, the wrong button. Aggravate the police, I'm sitting right in front of the police station. I don't know why I can't keep the button straight in this game. Uh oh. <laughs> My helicopter's all beat up. Not happy helicopter. Um, let's see. Should be right over here somewhere. Whoa, whoa, tower, tower, careful. All right, let's go find it. Should be right over here. I can hear it. See one of these things? Hmm, not seeing it. Let's see, what's my uh, what's my clue here? Inside barn. Oh, okay, well, if I looked at my clue first, I would know that I would go inside a barn. Okay, it must be inside one of these things. Maybe this barn. Yep, I see her. Hey, cow. Fifty. Okay, we got a phone message. As soon as you plug okay, the phone, please make case for my control center trailer at the wind farm. All right then. I am currently voyaging in the proto-galaxy. Please disclose your coordinates and I will attempt to contact in the next meridian. <laughs> okay, sure. So... Yep. There's, I think, where we're going. Yeah, that's where we're going. So let's go... Head over there um, and talk to this guy. Progress this whole thing. If we can get the helicopter to work, I've kind of beaten it up. Ah, oh, I keep hitting that button. This is not Saints Row. Uh oh. Hmm. 
not a happy helicopter. We better retire this guy pretty soon. Let's go. Uh oh, we better retire this guy. Piece of crap. Retire this guy right now, huh? All right, we're done with that. Let's grab ourselves a car. Yo, dude, stop. Yeah, he's not gonna stop. Hey, people! Seriously, are you kidding me with this? You guys would stop having a shootout right where I'm trying to grab a car? That'd be great. I'll take this one. Go kill somebody. Reach for the sky, buddy. Man, fuck this shit. Get that son of a bitch. You guys need to mellow out. Break me crazy. All right, we gotta lose these. Cry out loud. Tell you what, we'll just follow behind this one. <laughs> Where he can't see me. All I did was grab a car for a little repeat. Doesn't seem like I should be penalized for that. Alright, give up, cops. Nothing to see here. Thank you. <laughs> All right, so we'll go ahead up here um, and talk to this guy. This should be the final frontier, the uh, the next uh, strangers and freaks. I don't know if there's any actual mission involved or not. Um, it might just be a cutscene. I have no idea. We'll go find out. Let's see where are we at in this video. Oh, pretty good. Pretty good. I think we might have time to finish up exactly what I wanted to finish up. We got one more task to do, after, depending upon what this is. Um, yeah, if this is something that takes 20 minutes, then no. But, uh, there's only one more thing on my list for this episode. Which is kind of a tricky bit, but it shouldn't be too hard. Hopefully. Uh, we'll see. Kind of a little mini collection, sort of, kind of. Excuse me. Better to talk to Omega. Right, dude, where you at? Doing the final piece. I knew you would make it. Come, I have put together this ship to their exact specifications. I got every piece you sent through except this. And you crazy motherfucker! Isn't it incredible? Awesome <laughs> dog, but this motherfucker is small. Well, they're small, but very powerful. They're far more evolved than we are. And I sure hope the fuck so. Okay. I'll see you on the other side, brother. Um... Sure. <laughs> what the hell 
simple as that. Do I get to take this car? This I gotta try. <laughs> awesome. Okay, yep, that was the final frontier. <laughs> okay, uh, where are we? That's interesting. Um, Alright, for this last thing I want to do, guys, uh, hang on a second here. Yeah, that's the end of this whole thing. Um, and that was it. Just a cool cutscene. That's the end of the end of them. We're done with them completely. Well, that's great. We got a little dune buggy. Okay, guys, we're down here at the hangar because we're gonna pick up one of our planes. Um, the plane that I think I want is the Malliard. So um, hopefully that might be it. It's not. We should be able to switch over. Is that a Cuban? I can't tell what this is. That looks like a Cuban. Yeah, we want a Mallard. Yes, please. So we gotta get a spawn in. Yes, I'm sure that I want to um, spawn in the Mallard. Yes. Alright. There we go. That's the one I want. A little stunt plane. Okay. Here we go. Come on, buddy. Let's go. Why are we not moving? Let's see. All right, guys. So we're gonna go start up sort of mini collectible. Oops, wrong button as usual. Um, and where we're gonna go? Let's see, these are all down over here. I think the first one is somewhere right over here. Let's head over that way. Um, we're going to go do some night flights. And I'm going to try to do them in order. So I'm going to lose track of which ones I've done. Um, what time is it? <sighs> Late at night? <laughs> of course it is. That'll make it easy to see where I need to go. <laughs> um, Alright. So let's see. Yeah, this plane's pretty pretty good at knife lighting. Doesn't want to try to pull up or down on me so much, so let's see how it goes. Uh, let's see. Yeah, so you see these two buildings right here, these two towers? That's where we're going, right between them. So let's get set up for that. Get a little ways out first, so I can turn around. So we're just going to do four of these for right now, hopefully. It's going to be easier if it was daytime and I could see what I was wanting to do. Um, oh, that's not it. There it is. There you go. There's number one. Okay. Oh boy, number two looks difficult. Two and three are together in the same place. It really doesn't help that it's night. I wish it was day. Let's zoom in a little bit here. Where these guys are are right here. Yeah, it looks like that's it. Let's go check it out. This is going to require a bit of a tricky turn. Yeah, that's it right there. Oh boy.
Let me see where I'm supposed to be going. Ah, I do there. Yeah, okay, I see it. <sighs> All right, let's get ourselves lined up. This is gonna be, this looks like it's hard. See, I can't see what I'm supposed to actually be flying at. There you go. Two and three. Nice. All right. Very good. Okay. One more for the set. Um, which is in Rockford Hills. Okay. So for this next one, we're heading, let's see, right over here, right about this spot right here. Supposedly this one's difficult. Not that that last one wasn't difficult. I think we get, we picked three of the hardest ones to just start off with. Let's see what we're dealing with here. I think we're supposed to be going more north to south. Yep. Okay, let's head south. We got fly over the movie lot. find this. You want a hell of a pilot. Now. 
Yeah, there we go. Whew. We did it. <laughs> Somehow. All right. Okay, guys. Uh, yeah, that's a tough one. All right. Let's fly her back south. I'm going to go ahead and park it. I think um, that's likely to be the hardest knife flight in the game, right there. And we got it done. So, it's all good. Let's see. Let's put it down somewhere. I don't really care where. Slow down there, dude. You can skip. <laughs> Not the best of landings, but it works. Okay. Just taxi her up north. Or whatever way this is. So I guess it's east. Stick her in here. And there you go. Alright. I know the game just saved right there, but just to make sure, let's go ahead and save it. Please, because I don't ever want to have to do that one again. Let's see, we've got some messages. Um, properties. Let's see, how much are we making? Pretty good. Uh, hookies, congratulations. Um, okay. Properties again. Guns. Uh, minigun, stun gun, and parachute. Properties again. Alright, a lot of properties. Um, what have we got in texts? Omega, we did that one. Uh, smoke on the water, smoke on the water, Dom. Mm, sure. Okay, good, we cleared that up. Okay, guys, we'll stop here and we'll pick this back up in the next video. So, I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks a lot.